Hello, I'm back again with the new holiday plates from Bunny Nails. Um, this is a set of plates that covers Christmas, New Year's, some fall stuff and Thanksgiving stuff, um, and a ton of winter stuff. So um, whether or not you celebrate, you know, Christmas, Christmas specifically, there's some cool stuff here for you for winter as well. So um, I want to hurry up and get this to you so that you have time to get these plates if you want before um, Christmas Eve and Christmas. Although, like I say, there's plenty of stuff to use throughout winter otherwise. But let me get to it. Here is um, a background image that has that sort of sweater, knit, knit cable sweater feel to it with the reindeer and um, some little flowers. You have some pine cones, a little kind of um, cross-stitchy um, pixel kind of feel reindeer, a little present, um, some bells with some holly. I love this um, nail uh, background, nail full nail image with um, little candy canes and cups of cocoa and all kinds of cool stuff there. Um, kind of kind of looks a little bit like a bunch of Christmas cookies to me that way. I mean, here's something a little bit more fall with some fall leaves, um, another a little bow and some pretty. Um, stars like the Star of Bethlehem or even just this you know starry sky. Um, I love this the Three Kings oh that's so cool so if you want to um, do a, a manicure with the, the Three Kings kind of coming over and this here we got some snowflakes there's a lots of snowflakes of different sizes and I love that and they're all pretty I like the detailed snowflakes like that. And then we have a pretty angel and a little gingerbread guy and then a little either gingerbread house or house house, um, Santa Claus, a Santa in in, um, in his sleigh, and then some reindeer. Of course, you know you could use him a couple times and do a whole thing of Santa flying through the air. Um, some full nail, cute little trees, a cup of cocoa, so cute. Um, mittens and stockings and candy canes. Notice that these all kind of go up along with that one if you want to use those together. And then a tree that matches that. Um, a different kind of bow. Some little snow boots, kind of Santa snow boots and a Santa hat. And I just adore this. Um, there, there was a, a, a challenge um, theme and I didn't get a chance to do it because I've had a bunch of stuff on my plate right now. <laughs> um, no pun intended because this is a plate. But holiday traditions to me, especially for Christmas and Thanksgiving, is, is a big part of that is eating. And I love that there's the stamp of the plate with the fork and the wine glass and then the, the turkey kind of hanging out there on the platter and the pilgrim hats for Thanksgiving and the cornucopia. And this is one of the prettiest leaf um, background full nail images I've seen ever. I love the swirls which is not a surprise because I love the flourishes and I love the different leaves and it's like like a fall breeze just came up and blew the leaves all over in like the prettiest way possible. I love it. Um, here's another of the the wintry sweater kind of um, look. A pie that's just out of the oven and some corn and some squashes and of course your turkey and I'm putting my, I don't want you to see that one yet. And then here's some cool, um, to me, okay, so this could be just any kind of leaf really, but for some reason, probably because it's a holiday plate, it makes me think of the, um, the poinsettia leaves and I adore the idea of doing that. And okay, so here are some, um, some fireworks blasts and I love how detailed those are. Um, you could even go in over them with like a little um, different different colors if you want to. They're big enough that you can get, you know, a fair amount of detail. And how cute are these guys? These New Year's celebration guys. Oh my gosh. And they're toasting. They got the music going. That is uh, possibly the cutest thing just ever. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. And here you have a cityscape, which is nice. I mean, you can use that just as a cityscape if you want to, but the fireworks are going off over it. And I think that's really cool for New Year's. And then you've got happy Thanksgiving, happy new year, and you can do whatever year it is. You can do that year, you know, happy 2014, but then next year, happy 2015. Very cool. Here's a little leaf and some acorns for the fall part. Okay, so that is HDE, and that is the first of the two holiday stamping plates. Let me see if I can get you kind of a quick little over view of the whole thing. And then the second one is HDF. And starting again with a couple of different of these sweater images. This one has Christmas trees and this one has angels. Very cute. 
and here we have a little snowman guy and down here see that's a little snowman guy down at this bottom we're gonna have a really big cool um, uh, um, detailed snowman guy ice skates for ice skating and little candles and a wreath that's so cool and this is the most awesome holly ever you can put some green here and some little red or just do it all in green and a couple of rhinestones or dot your red on top of it easiest thing in the world i love this with the really detailed pretty snowflakes oh. Uh, another present, a different kind. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this guy is. It's like, I don't know, is that is that like a cup? Is that like snowman soup snowman? I don't know. Oh, and a little reindeer. So cute. And then there's Santa. And then we've got another cup of cocoa or tea or whatever it is. And oh, let it snow. How pretty would it be to have that across all your nails and then in a different color, just let it snow stamped on top of it. Um, Santa Claus. Oh, I love this ho 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 hanging down. Oh my gosh, you could do that over all your nails. So cute. And I like this with the pine bow um, separate. So you can, you know, build it up any way you want to. Turn it into a wreath if you want to over your nails. Um, you know, swinging down maybe like, like over all your nails. You put it like that and then little holly berries or or ornaments and you could turn it into a wreath so cool um more stars so maybe you do maybe you'd like you want to do that as a background and then the three wise men from the other one oh and look at these snowflakes with the little hearts that is just adorable especially if you love hearts and then some hearts to go with them how cool is this okay what this looks like to me i guess it could be tree branches um and maybe that's what it's supposed to be but the first thing i saw what i thought when i saw this was um you know when when windows frost over and sometimes you get the ice crystals going up it that's what i thought of how neat would that be and 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 a holly thing to go across your nails i just had a holly challenge and i was looking at all my different holly leaves and i didn't have anything that could do that that could go over you know like multiple nails and look the same but different um this to me i don't know this is just the coolest kind of thing to do in like a um a retro green over a lighter red to give it that kind of cool 60s retro feel and here is the rest with your you've got your three wise men on the other plate and this is a nativity i don't have a nativity on any of my plates and i love that this is is it's not like super cute where it's like you know it it, it it's kind of middle of the road. I, I, I've said that about Bunny Nails before, is I like that she, there's a cuteness to it, but it's not cutesy. And so here you've got your three wise men um, giving your baby Jesus and, and you know, Mary, and, and, um, uh, and then you've got your donkey and um, palm trees because, you know, it, it did happen out in the desert. So there you go. And all, once again, just totally kitschy with the, um, you could, you could, Put a little dot of um, of different colors on each of these, and then like gold or silver, and scrape it down, and then you'll get your ribbons and gold and silver, and each of your ornaments will have the different colors. So cool! Uh, Merry Christmas, season's greetings, and then you've got some candy canes for your background, and some gingerbread guys for your background. And this looks to me kind of like a a, a knit sweater, or even it could be like wheat, depending on which color you did it in. And we've already talked about this little stamping, or this little snowman guy. I just think he's the cutest, sweetest little thing. And um, every year, a really popular kind of manicure is to put um, the lights across your fingers. So this is a great way to be able to stamp that and then maybe um, go in and paint in freehand the different colors or put um, gems over that. So it gives you a nice guide. So you don't have to, if you're like me, sometimes you try to, freehand it and it ends up looking you know wonky um and then some more snowflakes with different kinds of of um such intricate really beautiful patterns um okay so there's hdf like i say i want to hurry up and get this up there for you so that um you have a possibility of getting it by christmas time if you want to be able to use um, the Christmas stamps for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, so I'm not going to do a stamping test right here in this video, um, but you, I guarantee you I'll be using these before the end of the year. And um, I'm looking at the quality of the etching on this. It's just like I've seen on her plates before. I've never had any problem stamping with her plates, but I will give you one tip. Okay, I really like the trend that's putting 
um, more images in a smaller space on plates. I think that that it saves you a lot of weight in your stamping collection. It gives you more bang for your buck when you buy a single plate and it has more images. But what it can do is be make it a little bit difficult to, let's say I want to get this little guy here without having to scrape over all of these. Um, you can't really avoid that on these plates. If you're, I uh, mean, you know, on the side ones, you can you can do that kind of thing. But in here, it's a little bit difficult. I am normally a big fan of a metal scraper, and I do use metal scrapers with these as well. But sometimes, if I find that when I'm scraping, my metal edge is catching a little bit too much in the other designs, I will switch and use um, a plastic scraper. So this is one of the the times that I'm really glad to have a plastic scraper because the plastic will go along the edge a little bit better of um, of the other engraved images without catching and kind of making you do a, a stutter step over your design, which isn't so much a big deal on ones like this, but if you were doing this, for example, and it got caught and you kind of stuttered in the middle, it, you might get a line in your design. So if you're having an issue with that, switch to one of these plastic scrapers. If you don't have this, try a credit card. Um, almost everybody has a credit card or a debit card or a driver's license or something like that. Um, I would say not, don't use one that you're currently using, but one that, you know, you're about to throw out because otherwise you probably are going to get nail polish all over it. Uh, okay, but apart from that, I can't see that there's going to be any issues with quality. These are just the same awesome quality that she always has from what I can see. And um, I will, over the next day or so, do a stamping test and I will let you know if I see any problems, but I can't can't see any issues as I'm looking over this and let me kind of again let you see like with the detailing on that you know nativity scene that's just really well etched all right thank you for watching and I also have a couple more bunny nail plates that have a more a little bit more of a spring theme that I'll be showing you as soon as I can okay